Consider the following statements regarding the slow start phase of the TCP congestion algorithm. Note that CWND stands for the TCP congestion window and MSS denotes the maximum segment size. So this is a question from TCP congestion control algorithm coming from computer networks section. Please refer to the lecture videos in the TCP section to understand how the TCP congestion control works. So I'll basically explain how it goes. Initially what we have is we for TCP congestion control we will be having three phases. One is the slow start phase then we have the congestion avoidance phase and then we have the congestion detection phase. So what happens in slow start phase is we will be sending one packet after we receive the act that is one round trip time we will be sending double of that. Similarly after each act we will be doubling it again. So that goes on so we will be having exponential growth in this phase. After that we have the congestion avoidance phase here what happens is after each round trip time we will be increasing the congestion window by one. And Similarly, once it reaches the threshold here, we have the condition detection phase that is which is stable now after each round trip time the condition window doesn't change. So the question is about the slow start phase. So how it works is initially we have one packet that is one MSS. We will be sending that once we receive the ACK that is after the round trip time we will double it. Then we will be sending two packets again after the round trip time we will be doubling it again. So we will be sending four packets here. So clearly you can see that after every round trip time the congestion window is doubling. Initially it was 1, then it was 2, then it was 4. So from here option 4 is correct. The congestion window approximately doubles every round trip time. So how TCP actually achieves this is after we receive every ACK we are increasing the congestion window by 1 MSS. So initially you can see it is 1 after we receive one ACK we made it two and we sent two. Here we will be receiving two ACKs now. Now here we are sending four. So before four we have received a total of three ACKs. And similarly after this round trip time we will be sending eight. And total packet sent already was seven so we need to receive seven ACKs before sending eight. So clearly you can see that after every ACK that window is being increased by one. So there is none of the options here which is correct. Here it's saying congestion window increased by 2 MSS that is false. Approximately doubles on every act that's also false. It doubles on every round trip time. Increases by 1 MSS on every round trip time that's also false. It increases by 1 MSS after every act. So only 4 is the correct answer.